Hello guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we are performing DNS proofing attack on a machine. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So in this video, we will be performing this attack on a virtual machine. On uh, the concept is same with uh, the virtual machine on the real network. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. I'll just open a text editor. So what do you mean by DNS proofing? Firstly, what do you mean by DNS? DNS stands for Domain Name System. So what it stores the data of IP addresses and its particular domain names. So what are domain names? Like every web server has some IP address like 10.190.180.10.11. For example, let's say this is Google's web server and since humans cannot remember this numerical octal configuration very well, so domain name came into existence. So this domain name system consists of this IP address and it says this IP is, uh, belongs to google.com. So whenever we perform this google.com search, first it will check it in its local record and if google.com is not in any of the local records it will uh, send a request to a dns server like google's dns server is 8.8.8 .8. it consists of all most um, so all ip addresses so then it will give us back that google.com refers to this ip address and then it will send us and uh, take us to the google.com website so for example let's open command let's open terminal here so now i will just do bing google.com and you can see there is an ip address here so what will happen if i copy this let's see okay in com draw here and now i'll paste this and you can see it is directed to google.com so another site let's say facebook.com so i'll copy this ip address and i will sorry, copy this ip address and paste this and you can see it is diverted to facebook.com so this is how it works and okay so Let's perform this attack and I am using my domain lalitkumar site.lalitkumar010.com as a, as a vector, potential vector for which we will spoof the IP address of the machine in the machine. So, okay, let's first see how the site is site.lalitkumar010.com. So see here, this is my website and it works fine. So what we will do is, we will first go to my operating system, Linux operating system. And for this, you should have a uh, tool installed called BetterCap. Okay, first let me make a directory called YouTube. And I will go to YouTube and I will make a directory called DNS spoofing. And I will go here and now. So, now you should everyone should have better cap installed better cap is a tool which helps us in dns spoofing and it has lots of features so we are not going to cover all the features in this video and in any pen testing distribution like cal linux or parrot security you can just install it like like this sudo apt install better cap and now once it's installed let's first see this uh, our potential victim this is the victim machine this is also another virtual machine which is running windows 10 and this is running parrot security so now let's go let's open powershell or cmd and now i'll just do an ip config here so we can see get this ip so we need ip to carry on attacks so if you do an if config here you can 
you can see ENS33 is the network interface we are using between on, in both the net both the virtual machine so let's run sudo better cap dash i face and ENS33 so now if you click help you can see several modules in this we are going to use net.sniff and arp.spoof and dns.spoof so what this net.sniff will do is it will read all the packets being sent from all the machines so we can see take a look at the packets so only http packets are readable and https is completely gibberish because it's encrypted so arp.spoof what will this do is like for example, there are two machines. Wait, let me open this notepad. Sublime. Machine saying that. Sorry. Let's assume this is the router. And this is a hacking hacker machine. And this is a victim machine. So it will send the request to router saying I am 103. And this will send the victim saying I am 102. So what will happen here is this victim machine assumes that we are the router and this router machine assumes that we are the victim. So all the packets will be sent through us which allows us to take a look at what packets are consisting of. So here I will uh, do an help in ARP.spoof and here we should set a few things like arp.spoof.full duplex to true and set arp.spoof.target and copy the IP before so yeah and that's it so now before execute uh, turning on this arp.spoof let's also set dns.spoof characteristics so let's do help dns.spoof and we can see dns.spoof.address here we should keep our address to the address where see ip address to map all the domains so if we mention any domain in this dns.spoof.domains the domain will directly come to uh, that will reflect to our ip address so let's say dns.spoof.address is our ip address which is 130 to reconfirm, I will do just this config here. Sorry, and you can see this, and also you can see here saying our IP address. So let's also turn on dns.spoof.all. What this will do is true, it will not just uh, reply one DNS request, it will reply to all, every DNS. So this is important and let's set dns.spoof dot domains to lalitkumar 0101.010.com comma star dot lalitkumar 010.com so what will this do is it will redirect any request of which consists lalitkumar 010.com to my IP and it will also yeah, redirect all the subdomains of lalitkumar010.com to my name so okay so now let's turn on this arp.spoof on and also net.sniff on and also dns.spoof on so okay guys so everything is working fine and now let's go to our machine and let's just do let's just type side dot wait before that we should run an http server so that every request we are running will come to our machine so for example let's make a directory called site here and i will go to site and i will say index.html a very basic html saying Hey, you have entered the correct site. Enter your password 
enter your username so just a typical normal observer which says this nothing more than that and so here i will use python 3-m http dot server module to run an http server here so now if we use firefox local host you can see that um, see here you have entered the correct site enter username enter password so a very small one so nothing much to do something more so now if we go to here and let's say site dot lithkumar 010.com and see this is coming see this is a victim which was affected so let's go to our machine normal machine and let's say site dot lithkumar 10.com you can see this is the site but what you can see here is this one so that's also see for example there is nothing there is no site called hi dot light come up zero one zero dot com see this site can't be reached but here if we do that hi dot light come up zero one zero dot com you can see it's directing to the same same site so here if the site exists or doesn't exist it doesn't matter what only matters is if it's the same same domain redirect to my ip address so so what we'll do now is let's just stop this everything let's turn on this poof on off and arp dot poof off so that's just wait for some minutes so everything was perfect and now if you just close this and if you just open cmd and do ip config flush dns which flushes all the dns and now if you open the site and if you use site.lightkumar010.com see the original site was open so this will work same with an virtual network or if you are connected to wifi what you should do is you should just change um, better cap see i will stop this since we completed it so we used better cap dash ifs ens33 which is ethernet so if you connect to wifi and if you have wlan0 or anything so just change this here and set the correct target and here yeah, that's it the attack will be the attack will be working fine so thank you for watching guys this is only for educational purposes don't use it any uncle way so i i hope you understood the concept thank you for watching have a nice day